Good evening. Welcome to the Gas App and Plum App Live, Live Lounge. This is BWT's first Live Lounge presentation, the first of many, I hope. My name is Steve Sparring, and I'm the Technical Director at BWT UK. I'm pleased to join you all today to talk about BWT and one particular type of product that we have to offer. The product focus today is on our live line beaters. Whilst we have many products in our portfolio, I'm hoping that this one most of you will be familiar with. This type of product isn't unique to BWT, but as you will see later, it does have several really interesting and unique features. The lift line beater is popular with a lot of installers for several reasons, not least because of its size, build quality and value for money. And with the line beater being widely available in nationals and many of the independent merchants, there's always a special deal to be had, boosting its appeal even further. As in many previous sessions of Live Lounge, you may have seen, I'll be taking questions throughout this Live Lounge. So please do send in your questions and I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. If I miss any out, I will get back to you in the next couple of days so please leave your email address. Any of you leaving your email address will also go into tonight's prize draw to win one of five line beaters we have to give away. So, let's get this session started. I will introduce BWT to you first, then explain a little bit more about the line beater itself, how it works, where it should be installed, and the various variants available to you. I will aim to keep this part of the forum relatively short so we can spend some more time on the question and answer part of today's event. All of the questions and answers from today will be posted in that area on the app for you to refer back to. So, who are BWT? BWT is part of the Best Water Technology Group. The Best Water Technology Group, BWT, is Europe's leading water technology company. BWT employs around 3,800 people and aims to supply private, industrial, business, hotel, and public sector customers with innovative, economical, and ecological technologies that guarantee maximum safety, hygiene, and health in the daily use of water. BWT provides state-of-the-art water treatment technologies and services for drinking water, pharmaceutical water, processed water, heating water, boiler water, cooling water, all sorts of water, water for air conditioning systems, and water for swimming pools. Our research and development team use the latest methods developed to work on new processes and materials to create products that are both ecological and economical. A key development issue for BWT is the reduction in the product's consumption of operating resources and energy to minimize CO2 emissions. In a nutshell, BWT manufacture a range of high quality water treatment products from the simple to the complex, from the inexpensive to the very costly. What all of these products have in common at their core is value for money, sustainability, and leading patented technology, which means what this means for you is simple. It does what it says on the tin and it's built to last in a responsible way. So let's get on with the show, line beaters. The lift line beater forms part of BWT's physical water conditioner range. The technology it uses inhibits the formation of scale in hot water appliances the line beater requires no external power or chemicals to create its conditioning effect, making it environmentally friendly and maintenance free. The line beater is classified as an electrolytic scale inhibitor. And although it looks similar to many other main magnetic inhibitors on the market, including our own, being electrolytic does mean it can be fitted by you, the installer, when completing an installation that needs to comply with part L of the building regulations. As I said at the start, 
We are not the only company to manufacture this type of unit, and the shape may well be familiar with you to, to you. This particular model is from our compact range. I think you can hopefully see that. I'm sorry. And benefits from being just 150 mil long, making it perfect for any installation, especially where you may be short of space. Bigger sizes are available. It is brightly painted and highly polished, which accentuates its sweeping curves. You've never seen a better curve. And it's designed to maintain the flow rates and guide the water over and around the zinc cudgel, maximizing the conditioning effect. The aesthetics of this particular line beater makes it ideal for all of those installations that will remain visible to the customer and perfectly complements neat pipework and boiler installation, which also makes it a firm favorite with those installers who take pride in their work. As I said earlier, the line beater is an electrolytic scale inhibitor and actually one of the few types of conditioners suitable for partial compliant installations. So the big question, how does the line beater work? You're going to have to stick with me on this one. Listen through. Don't fall asleep. The device acts as a weak Danielle cell, a bit like a battery, with a cathode, anode, and electrolyte. The line beater uses two dissimilar metals, a tubular body made of copper, which is the anode, a zinc cudgel that forms the cathode. The zinc cudgel is positioned centrally. I'm not sure you have to see this. You can just see, yeah, still. You can just see down the center there. A very, uh, uses some plastic spaces that separate the two materials, copper and zinc, from each other. As water, the electrolyte, passes through the tube, a very small current passes through the fluid, inducing an electromagnetic field. This electrolytic action changes the way scale forms by altering the alignment of the mineral molecules, mil, mineral molecules, I can't say, during crystalline formation. The electrolytic action encourages the molecules to form long chains, which develop into sharp, thin crystals called aragonite. Aragonite crystals, due to their shape, are less likely to form hard, insulating scale than the more common and naturally occurring calcite crystals they replace. Calcite is a form of calcium carbonate, better known in our world as scale. The advantage over a magnetic conditioner is that the field generation, a result of the water flow acting like as an electrolyte in the battery, is consistent and long lasting. Whereas the conditioning effect created by a ferrite magnets used in magnetic conditioners is lost over time. The magnets themselves also become less effective with age, reducing the conditioning effect even further as they age. So that's it. That's the lift line beater in a nutshell. It's a simple product to install. It's smart looking. And like I say, perfect for the installers that like to take pride in their pipe work. And as I stated earlier, it is suitable for Partel compliant installations. So that's the boring bit over. Let's have a little drink. Uh, we've got some questions that have come in. And I'll start from the top. And, um, um, a question from Andrew. Hi, Steve. My question is, would you like to come and have a chat on the heating and plumbing show on Fix Radio? Oh, wow. I have had our leader, Ant, on the show, so the offer is there also. Also, where is the best place to install your product? Just after the stop tap, or is there an advantage to installing more than one? Thank you. I might come to that on, I'll come back to that one later, but thank you for the offer of the chat on your radio station, that'd be great. Uh, next question. Question from Tony. 
That's a fairly blunt question. How much does a 15 mil lime reducer cost? Good question, Tony. They vary in price depending on where you get them from and how many you buy, but you're talking around the 30 to 40 pounds range. Question from Neil. Hi, I use CombiMate units. Are these as good? CombiMate is a chemical conditioner. The lime beta is a physical conditioner. Uh, chemical conditioners, CombiMates, that type of product, we have our own product called the Combi Care. I think they'll be subject to a separate live lounge. We won't go too deeply into it now. Next question from Matt. What size does what sizes does the line beta come in? Well, Matt, we supply a range of line beaters in a range of sizes from 15 to 54 mil. And although they're quite a different product to look at. Uh, they all work in exactly the same way. So here's the 15 mil compression. Quite dinky with this flowing curves. Oh. And this, it's quite heavy actually, is the 54 millimeter beast. You don't want to drop this on your toes. I'll put that up there. There we go. For domestic installs, the Predominantly, the largest number of sales come from our compact range, these ones, which come with either compression or push fit connectors and are available both 15 and 22 mil. For the larger pipe sizes found in commercial applications, we have range that include, we have a range of models that include 28, 35, 42, and 54 mil. The most obvious difference is their size and weight. The compacts make use of captivated fittings, as you can see there. The larger sizes, loose or separate connectors. That's the 54 mil connector. These are heavy enough on their own to don't want to drop it on your toes. So as we've taken that decision to utilize full flow technology through these products in the design and development to maximize flow rates, We've got a whole range of appropriate size units and it makes perfect sense. I hope that answers your question, Matt. Uh, Gary. Next question from Gary. Uh, in fact, there's two questions from Gary. Uh, can the line beta be fitted on horizontal and vertical pipes? The answer is yes. Next question, Gary. Can you explain what the five year warranty refers to? Yes, of course I can. The five-year warranty refers to the build quality, and we guarantee the product to be free from any manufacturing faults due to material or assembly failure within five years of purchase. That's a pretty comprehensive warranty. So thank you, Gary. Uh, next one is Bill. Do you do models with push fit fittings? Uh, simple answer, Bill, is yes. So. Got one here. This is the 15 mil compression. This is the 15 mil push fit. So both the 15 and the 22 millimeter compacts come in either compression or push fit. And it's also worth mentioning that the line beater can also be fitted to plastic piping, provided the appropriate fit fittings are used. Um, We've got a question from someone with no, no name, actually. I'm sure his name's not no name, but it is no name. If you let us have your contact details on these questions, as I said earlier, we'll put you into a draw to win a line beta. So the question here that no name is asked, without mentioning any names, some of the names, how different are these from the ones that you see advertised costing hundreds of pounds more? Okay. Good question, no name. What I'll say is that the Line Beta is a high quality product and it uses scale reducing technology similar to many other units on the market. But it's available at much lower price than some of the competition. So you might ask why the price difference? I can't comment on the prices other people charge, but would suggest before committing to buy one that seems very expensive, 
you check out the Lime Beach range for yourself at your local merchant. A quick fix, fix of course, is you send me a question with your contact details. And as I said, we'll have five to give away so the lucky winners can try the Lime Beater out for themselves. Can't be fair about that. Joe. Joe has just asked my favorite question. Does the lime beater soften water? As much as I would like to say it does, it doesn't. These units change the properties of the hardest minerals in the water. Once the water is conditioned by the device, any lime scale held in suspension simply passes through the hot water system without sticking to heat exchange surfaces. If you test the water hardness before and after an installed lime beater, you will not see any difference. There is a common misconception that has been propagated by unscrupulous advertising over a number of years, promoting what are in effect physical water conditions as water softeners. In my world, to soften water, you need to remove the minerals that cause the water to be hard in the first place, the calcium and magnesium. And that's a job for an iron exchange water softener, a subject worthy of a forum at a later date. So a good question, and thank you for asking it. Another question from No Name. I'm not sure if this is the same No Name or there are two No Names out there. So thank you, No Name, whoever you are. Can I use the line beater for whole house protection? This tees in nicely with the question we had from Andrew about where to install the product. So this will answer both of them. I'm just going to have a little drink. Good water, that was very good. So the conditioning effect of a lime beater is usually described as medium term. So in a domestic property with no water storage, for example, cold water fed directly from the mains and hot water from your combi boiler, they are good at providing protection throughout the property. Any scale it does form is usually soft and can be easily washed away. For properties or premises that are using storage tanks for either their hot or cold water, lime beaters are not usually suitable for whole house protection. If this is the case, I would recommend in installing individual units prior to any device you wish to protect. I hope that makes sense. A question from Steve. How long does a lime beater last? That's a really difficult one to answer, Steve. Um, there are many factors to take into consideration. But as a guide, I would be looking at changing a line beta after about 10 years. Around this point in time, the zinc can begin to degrade and become less effective. Uh, next one is Tom, which also links with that other one from Chris. So thank you for this question. I get asked it a lot, and it is an important one. Why is it advised that a line meter be best installed approximately one meter from point of use? Right, Tom. It's a rough guide based on average flow rates. It provides an opportunity for the inhibitor to effectively change the properties in the water by the time it reaches, for example, the boiler. Install it too far away, and it gives the water time to return to its actual state, install it too close, and there may not be enough time to fully condition the water. I trust that answers the question. Um, just waiting for some questions to come in. While I'm waiting for the next question to pop up, oh. no. We get a lot of general questions from installers and the public relating to the fitting of the device. The most frequent being, how do you fit the device, how much space is needed, and why does it need supporting? A quick visit to the app, and you can download our product guide. On page 15 and 16, you can see the dimensions for all the line beta models. Briefly, 
the length of a line meter ranges from 150 to 322 mil, depending on which model you choose. When it comes to fitting, it's really no different in reality to that replacing a damaged section of the pipe. The line meter doesn't require any servicing or have any consumables, so you do not need any additional space around it for access. Support is important to prevent stress on the joints and to protect adjoining pipe work. Like all joints, the joints on the line beta will work best when they are true and straight and no undue pressure is applied to the joint. Aligning the pipe work correctly and supporting the line beta will ensure the joints and the line beta itself are free from any stresses that could, in extreme situations, cause a joint to leak. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Gary's back. Not content with his earlier two questions, he's come back with another one. Are your current models of Lion Beta a direct replacement for your old models or another company's product? The simple answer is no. I'll expand on that a little. There's no standard size of scale inhibitor when it comes to length or diameter. So it's unlikely that our product would be a straight swap for a competitor's product. However, since the launch of the compact range, which was about six years ago, the specification has remained unchanged and swapping like for like shouldn't be a problem. I would always suggest you check the sizes before you start work. I'd like also to add quickly that the line beaters are RAS approved. And I think it's worth mentioning that any installer can visit the RAS website and check out any product to see if it is RAS approved, as can the general public. Okay, next question is in. Jamie, what's the difference between a line beta and a line fighter? The most important difference for the professional installer is that the line beta can be fitted as part of an L compliant installation. The line fighter being magnetic isn't approved in the same way. Secondly, the line beta is electrolytic and its conditioning effect is often referred to as medium or long term, which as we discussed earlier, allows it to be used for the whole house and individual appliance protection. Whereas the line fighter is magnetic and its effect on the water is often referred to as temporary or short term, making them ideal for single appliance protection only. Uh, oh, Jamie, sorry, I had two questions. Where is the best place to install this unit and where can I purchase them? Uh, best place to install the line beater is about one meter, as we discussed before about one meter before your boiler or any device that heats water, you're looking to protect and scale. As to where that can be purchased, all of the domestic size models are available from pretty much all the national merchants and also a large number of our friends in the independent sector. Uh, I have to remind you again, for those members who have stayed with, with us to the end, we have five 15 mil models to give away to installers. Please send a question regarding the line beta or scurry inhibitors in general with your contact details and we will put you into a draw. Got a question from Ian. Which is better, push fit or compression fitting models? Well, Ian, if, you want, if you're asking if one performs better than the other, the answer is no. Both versions are identical on the inside. The choice of fitting is one of personal preference or, or in some cases, customer specification. Do remember though, that we only offer push fit on 15 and 22 mil models. Uh, Chris. Why should I consider a water softener in these do the job? Well, thanks, Chris. But as I'm sure you know, and I mentioned earlier, these two products are very different. And whilst the conditioner 
it's perfect for, for protecting various appliances around the home from scale. They do not soften water. In fact, if you'd really like to get the benefits of softened water, then our live lounge appearance coming soon will be right up your street. We'll be discussing the latest addition to our softener range, the BWT Perla Silk. You can see one in the background. Along with all the benefits that softened water, or as we refer to it, luxury water, can bring to your home. So Chris, don't miss that one. Keep informed. Another question. That's the same question from Lloyd. Is there a minimum distance allowed to be installed from a boiler? As I know, some are one meter. Yes, we advise one meter from the boiler. Lloyd, thank you very much. Uh, hi, Steve. This is from Wayne. Uh, can you tell me the flow rates, please, on the 15 and 22? Wayne, get yourselves one of these books and it has all of the answers. Uh, another Chris here. If I have my outside tap on a water softener, what effect could it have on my wash on washing my van and my march of uh, uh, carts, I presume, power washer? Right, having an outside tap on soft water is great for washing the car or van. You get a much better rinse and a much easier rinse. What it's not great at is watering the garden. So you shouldn't water the garden with softened water. Always water the garden with hard water. Uh, question from Christian. Oh, good question, Christian. And he's left his details. Christian, well done you. First, apologies came late to the video. Is it better to install a 22 mil version using reduces reducers if the main is 15 mil to aid with flow rate? If not, how much does it reduce the flow rate? Well, you might have missed the bit I did, Chris, the end, but because of the shape, there's no reduction in diameter. The the diameter here makes up for the the zinc cudgel in the middle so there's no reduction in flow rate but if you, if you want to spend the extra money spend the extra money i personally wouldn't a question from tony which i can't read out really i'm going i'm going to it why do you look so handsome on screen from tony it's a decent life i'll eat tony gab from Walsley, west yorkshire are these products at our feeder or direct to your, from yourself? That's a great question, Gav. And I don't know the answer, but I'll get some of them sales to get on, get back to you with, that, with the answer to that question. A uh, question from Ross. Is there anything you could, would recommend to protect the whole system, i.e. after the rising main, if the customer doesn't want softened water? And Ross has left his address as well. Thank you, Ross. Yes, Ross, there is. And I will get some details sent to you. Uh, it's a product we call the Aqua Total. Um, it's a very sophisticated um, scale prevention system. I can't go too deep into it now because we're running a bit out of time, but I'll get details sent to you. It's, it's a cracking product. Um, it's, the, it's the ideal if you don't want to water softener. Uh, and any more questions coming in? Mm, thankfully, no. I made it to the end. Oh, no, I haven't. No, Ross is said oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Well, that's it, I'm afraid. Uh, it's football on tonight, so I'm not going to keep you from it. Thank you for everyone that sent in a question. It kept me a little bit busier than I thought. I hope I've, I hope I've managed to shed some light. Are they still coming in? This could go on for like extra time. I, 
It's another one from Gab. Not a question, but I know they're on our system, but not check the availability. And I don't think any of my branches have brochures. Could we have some sent? Gab, it would be a pleasure. I'll make sure they sent you. Don't worry. Um, I hope I managed to shed some light on the lift line beta, what this product can do for you and the benefit to your customers. If you have any further queries or just want to find out more about BWT, there's some, we've uploaded some great material on the app, so please have a read if you get a chance. If there's a particular subject on BWT products you'd like covered in a future live lounge, please let us know. This is the first time we've done this. It's been a great way to spend the evening but I'm sure the football's more important. Thank you for joining, and I hope we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.